I'm Rev Trina. Chrysler, welcome. Our short service from the Beacons and Klintsevaden Ministry area this week focuses on Ukraine and the atrocities that are happening there as, as we speak. Our thoughts and prayers are with all those people who live within war and conflict zones. Please do join in. The words and music are provided. Thank you. Psalm 91, verses 1 to 11. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Our opening prayer. O oh God, author and giver of peace, in whose image and likeness each of us has been created with a human dignity worthy of respect on earth and destined for eternal glory. Listen to the cry that rises from every corner of this fragile earth, from our human family torn by violent conflict. Give peace in our time, O good and gracious God, that peace which, as your son Jesus told us, and as we have experienced in these days, is a peace which the world cannot give. To world leaders, grant the wisdom to see beyond the boundaries of race, religion and nation, to that common humanity that makes us all your children and brothers and sisters to one another. To those who have taken up arms in anger or revenge, or even the cause of justice, Grant the grace of conversion to the path of peaceful dialogue and constructive collaboration. To the innocent who live in the shadow of war and terror, especially the frightened children, be a shelter and strength, their haven and hope. And to those who have already lost their lives as victims of human cruelty and chemical warfare, Open wide your arms and enfold them all in the embrace of your compassion, healing and everlasting life. Grant this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We join together in saying our Lord's Prayer in the language of our choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our next hymn is O God, Our Help in Ages Past.
reading is from Romans chapter 10, verses 8 to 13. But what does it say? The word is near you, it is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Paul said, For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. What an extraordinarily apt reading for this week. A week of devastating war in Ukraine. And it's not over yet. Seeing the horrendous images of the destruction and loss of life is too painful. Ukraine has tangled political history. Its religious landscape is mirrored in Russia's, with its predominantly orthodox Christian faith, which is split in its loyalty between Moscow and a more independent-minded group in Kiev. But while there have been appeals to religious nationalism in both Russia and Ukraine, religious loyalty doesn't mirror political loyalty amid Ukraine's fight for survival. Even though Russian President Vladimir Putin justified his invasion of Ukraine in part as a defence of the moscow oriented Orthodox Church, leaders of both Ukrainian Orthodox factions have loudly denounced the Russian invasion, as has Ukraine's significant Catholic minority. Metropolitan Epiphany, head of the Kiev-based Orthodox Church of Ukraine, spoke these poignant words. With prayer on our lips, with love for God, for Ukraine, for our neighbours, we fight against evil and we will see victory. Within other faith groups there are Protestants, Jews and Muslims. Ukraine has a sizable Jewish minority of around 50,000 people and its president is of Jewish descent. Historically, the Jewish people have faced much persecution under Russian rule. The chief rabbi of Ukraine has asked for Christians to recite Psalm 31 aloud in support of all Christians and Jews as a prayer. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me, come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord my faithful God. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. As for me, I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not given me into the hands of the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I am the utter contempt of my neighbours and an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. 
I am forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery. For I hear many whispering terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Let me not be put to shame, Lord, for I have cried out to you. But let the wicked be put to shame and be silent in the realm of the dead. Let their lying lips be silenced, for with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly against the righteous. How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. In the shelter of your presence you hide them from all human intrigues. You keep them safe in your dwelling from accusing tongues. Praise be to the Lord, for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. In my alarm I said, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him, but the proud he pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. We cannot imagine what the people of Ukraine are enduring at the moment. Many are fleeing their homes, taking just what they can carry. Schools, hospitals and homes are being destroyed by indiscriminate bombing. Children have been among the dead. We can give to reliable charities such as the Red Cross, who are working in Ukraine. We can pray and attend prayer vigils, perhaps. However we show our support for Ukraine, we should remind ourselves that this could happen to any of us. No country deserves what Ukraine is enduring. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Amen. Thank you.
next hymn is Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. to help others who are suffering from pain and desperation and all those who are living through war and conflict. May they know the comfort of your presence to give them hope. Let us remember those who have no homes and those who have left their homes to escape to safety. Lord, we are your hands, your eyes and your heart here on earth. Help us to use them to help others. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>